We have no idea what game we're going to make next. That's why in this devlog, we're going to prototype a ton of ideas and pick our next big project. We just released the first major Monster Path early access update on Steam, and now we're lost and alone. So we're going to take a page from Jonas's book and come up with game ideas, prototype them, and decide on our next project. When I say we, I mean Jer and me. We will prototype ideas in the first round, select our favorites for a second round prototype, and then pick our next game. The first idea was a PvP strategy game like Super Auto Pets, but instead of five spaces in a 1D line, you have a castle area that must be enclosed and you place your units anywhere in that area. Each unit would have powers, adjacency bonuses, etc. The second idea was coming back to one of our old ARPG prototypes, Shadows of Her Past. We prototyped some movement and we had the idea to make each level as a small self-contained puzzle toy where you're trying to accomplish an objective. You know, things like siege the castle or defend the pass. Prototype 3 was a third person shooting farming game. Yes, shooting farming. Your ammo is seeds and missed shots fall to the ground and they grow into plants. And then those plants could be harvested for more seeds. We prototyped this with online co-op and things kind of got off the rails when we added dragons and fusions. <laughs> Prototype 4 was one I did on my own and I was experimenting with turn-based games where the attacks you use change the usable area your character can stand in and you could always move in real time. This one was not fun. Prototype 5 was a simple Dark Souls style boss rush. You had to learn the boss's moves and learn how to dodge them. Prototype 6 was a PvP game based on multiply and release YouTube videos. These videos are insanely addictive and made me want to be able to play them instead of just watch. After this first round, we hung out and talked about all the prototypes. I feel like every single game that we've made is completely different than the last game. In art and in like visual style, every single one is like worlds apart from each other yeah it's funny the list is like really has almost nothing in common i think the farm game is like there's layers to it and it's not straightforward like for farm i feel like there's depth and like an interesting mechanic like the game feels like more of a real game pong i just like because it's full dopamine like literally the whole game is just how can i make my brain feel good i think that's also gonna help with like selling the game the magic is very visual in that game it's very obvious to like see oh it's fun to look at for round two we improved on our favorites but we also gave ourselves permission to change directions radically for the pvp strategy game we changed it to be a bit more 3d and we also added a train mechanic that goes out to gather resources and comes back to the city. This one quickly grew in scope a lot, so we dropped it pretty quick. We then combined the third person farming game and the Dark Souls boss rush. We made a lot of new art and changed the enemies to bugs. We also added in Diablo style loot items and a boss from the Dark Souls style game. It had a few gameplay design issues that we needed to iron out. Like sometimes you're seedless in Seattle and need to figure out what to do, but it is really cool. For the Pong game, we added a ton of juice and we did a couple of multiplayer matches with our friends. This game was much simpler from an online perspective compared to the farm shooter, so that was a plus from the scope perspective since we were just learning Unity multiplayer for the first time. It was time to make the final decision. We started with six ideas. Two of them got eliminated quickly because they just weren't fun. We then eliminated the PvP strategy train game because the scope was just too much. The third person shooter farming game was our favorite idea from a gameplay and theme perspective, but when we began to work on the online aspects, we realized that we were out of our league. So again, scope issue. So the last idea was left, the multiplayer release one. We played this game with our friends a lot. The thing about that game was, at night when we'd normally be gaming on something else, our friends would ask if we had any more updates and if they could help test it and it quickly grew to be a fan favorite. Whenever I made a change to the game code, I would play the game and test it, but then I just wouldn't stop. I'd keep playing until I cleared the whole board. The satisfaction was just so good. I also was very confident in the scope of this game, and I knew that it could expand in a lot of different directions based on feedback. So we had a winner. We're going to develop this game into a full Steam release. We've now been working on it for about two months and plan to start a devlog series soon. So please subscribe if you'd like to see that.
We already test the game a lot in our Discord server, so feel free to join and ask if you want to mess around. Hey everyone, I took so long to edit this video that we actually just put the Steam page up. You can go wishlist it now.